Arsenal's summer has been largely dominated by Alexis Sanchez's future, and will continue to be until Thursday's transfer deadline has passed, but Sunday's demoralizing defeat at Liverpool showed there are bigger issues to deal with. In losing 4 0 at Anfield, Arsenal showed tactically they are nowhere near their rivals for a top four place in the Premier League. More worryingly, they lacked hunger and they don't look like a team. I genuinely don't know what Arsene Wenger is saying to them on the training ground. It is unbelievable what we watched against Liverpool. They are making such basic mistakes. Were there any positives for Arsenal? No. Absolutely none. Before the start of the season, I predicted Arsenal would finish outside of the top four. Obviously, I haven't changed my mind. It was a just a shambles from a team which wants to develop after missing out on Champions League football for the first time in 20 years. It is the same old Arsenal, the same old problems. If they let Sanchez go, they're in a world of trouble. They're in a world of trouble anyway. Sanchez looks like he wants to go. Sanchez was playing for the first time this season after a summer of speculation about his future. He started off all right against Liverpool playing on the left side of a front three with Danny Welbeck and Meza Tazil, and he was the only real threat. But it was tough for him because Arsenal weren't getting the ball very much. He worked hard enough but as the game went away from Arsenal you could see him getting frustrated. His body language wasn't good when he came off, in fact before he came off you could tell he was despondent. But he still had to go and didn't look like someone who was not trying. Some Gunners fans might be annoyed by a camera picking out Sanchez appearing to smile as he was sitting on the bench, but that's not a big issue for me. We don't know what he was looking at, there could have been a policeman in front of him fall over or anything. It was a little quick smile, he soon went back to looking as miserable as sin. No one can accuse Sanchez of not caring. Over the past couple of seasons he has put in more effort than anybody. But does he want to be there now? I don't think so. With speculation linking him to Manchester City, I can see him going before Thursday. Arsenal's biggest area of concern was the midfield. Arsenal set up with a 3-4-3 in effect and that's fine if everyone knows the system and knows what they are doing. But they didn't apostrophe T. Granit Xhaka and Aaron Ramsey were in a midfield too, with Alex Oxlade Chamberlain and Hector Bellerin as wingbacks, and the central midfielders really lack the athleticism to help out their defensive players. Liverpool kept picking the ball up in midfield and had huge spaces in front of them. There were at least half a dozen times in the first half where Liverpool were running at their back line and there was no midfielder in view and we're talking 50 or 60 yard gaps between center halves and midfield doors. Arsenal's problems in this area are not about the personnel in their squad because they have got legs there. Francis Coquelin came on for Ramsey at halftime and made a difference. Arsenal changed the shape and looked more solid. Okay, they conceded two more goals but that's because they were trying to get back into the game. Whether Arsenal have one or two holding midfielders, Arsene Wenger must tell them they have got to hold. Do not move. Liverpool captain Jordan Henderson isn't a holding midfielder, but he runs more than anyone in the Premier League, is a talker and a good passer. He's had to take away his runs forward, but he has embraced it because that's what the manager wants him to do. The team benefits because he's playing that role. Mosa Dumbell, my old teammate at Fulham, was never a central midfielder until he came to us. Now he is one of the best holding midfielders in the Premier League, if not the best. Like Henderson, he's embraced it and the coach has helped him reach that level by telling him what to do. Dele Alli looks like a world beater because, A, he is a world beater and, B, he knows he has got two guys on his back, whereas Arzil, if he is playing in the number 10 role, has two creative players behind him. The tenacity is not there. If Ozil was playing ahead of Victor Wanyama and Dembele, for example, he would look a whole lot better. The buck lies with Winger and his coaching staff in this 3 4 3. Arsenal's players didn't know if the wing backs were marking Mohamed Salah and Sadio Main or if the wide center halves were marking them. Part of Arsenal's problem is that there are few leaders on the pitch who are taking responsibility and telling people who to pick up. You need that because if the system is going wrong, then you can demand that off your teammates. But the manager creates the system and the discipline within the system. If there is no discipline and no work on it day in, day out, then players are not going to be able. 